Goth, also known as Jehuti, is one of the most intriguing and multifaceted figures in ancient Egyptian mythology. He is often depicted as a man with the head of an ibis, or sometimes as a baboon, representing wisdom, writing, magic, and the moon. Thoth plays a crucial role in Egyptian cosmology, religious beliefs, and cultural practices, appearing in a wide range of texts, rituals, and artifacts throughout ancient Egyptian history. In this comprehensive exploration of Thoth, we will delve deep into various aspects of his character, significance, and mythology, examining his roles as a deity, a scribe, a judge, and a mediator between gods and humans. We will also explore his connections to other deities, his influence on Egyptian literature, and his enduring legacy in both ancient and modern cultures. Thoth occupies a unique position in the Egyptian pantheon, embodying a diverse array of attributes and functions. His origins are shrouded in mystery, with ancient texts providing different accounts of his birth and parentage. One of the most prominent myths suggests that Thoth emerged from the primordial waters of Nun, the chaotic abyss from which all life originated. According to this myth, he played a pivotal role in the creation of the world, using his wisdom and magical knowledge to establish order out of chaos. Thoth is often described as the scribe of the gods and the inventor of writing, mathematics, and science. He is credited with devising the hieroglyphic script, which served as the primary means of written communication in ancient Egypt. As a result, he is revered as the patron deity of scribes, scholars, and intellectuals. However, his significance extends far beyond literacy and scholarship, encompassing domains such as magic, healing, and divination. The Mythological Roles of Thoth Thoth is revered as the epitome of wisdom and intellectual prowess in Egyptian mythology. He is often depicted as a wise counselor and a repository of divine knowledge. According to myth, Thoth possessed the ability to comprehend the secrets of the universe and unlock the mysteries of existence. As the patron deity of scribes, he was believed to inspire and guide individuals in their pursuit of learning and enlightenment. Inventor of Writing and Language One of Thoth's most significant contributions to civilization is his invention of writing. In ancient Egyptian belief, Thoth introduced hieroglyphs as a means of recording language and preserving knowledge for future generations. This innovation revolutionized communication, enabling the transmission of ideas, stories, and religious teachings across time and space. As the god of writing, Thoth was venerated as the divine source of literacy in literature, judge and arbiter of truth. In the afterlife, Thoth played a crucial role as the arbiter of truth and justice. According to Egyptian belief, he presided over the weighing of the heart ceremony, a crucial event in the judgment of souls. In this ceremony, the heart of the deceased was weighed against the feather of Ma'at, the goddess of truth and cosmic order. If the heart was found to be lighter than the feather, signifying a life lived in accordance with Ma'at's principles, the soul was deemed worthy of entering the afterlife. Thoth's role as a scribe of the Divine Tribunal ensured that justice was upheld and the cosmic balance maintained. Mediator and Messenger of the Gods Thoth served as a mediator between the gods and humans, facilitating communication and divine intervention. He was often depicted as an intermediary figure, conveying the will of the gods to humanity and vice versa. Thoth's role as a messenger was particularly evident in mythological narratives where he played a vital role in relaying messages, delivering prophecies, and assisting both gods and mortals in their endeavors. Guardian of Magic and Healing In addition to his roles as a scribe and judge, Thoth was also associated with magic and healing. He was believed to possess extensive knowledge of magical spells, incantations, and rituals, which he used to protect the gods and aid humanity. Thoth's expertise in magic made him a revered figure among practitioners of the occult, who invoked his name for guidance and assistance in their mystical pursuits. Moreover, Thoth was revered as a healer and physician, capable of curing illnesses and restoring health to the sick and afflicted. Depictions and Symbolism Thoth is typically depicted in ancient Egyptian art and iconography as a man with the head of an ibis, a wading bird native to the Nile region. Alternatively, he may be portrayed as a baboon, another animal associated with wisdom and intelligence in Egyptian symbolism. These animalistic depictions symbolize Thoth's attributes as a wise counselor, 
a guardian of knowledge, and a mediator between the earthly and divine realms. In addition to his animal forms, Thoth is often depicted wearing a lunar disc and crescent moon headdress, emphasizing his association with the moon and its cycles. The moon was revered in ancient Egypt as a symbol of regeneration, transformation, and the cyclical nature of existence. Thoth's lunar associations further underscore his role as a deity of wisdom, magic, and cosmic order, the cult of Thoth. Throughout ancient Egyptian history, Thoth enjoyed a widespread cult following, with numerous temples, shrines, and sanctuaries dedicated to his worship. The most famous of these was the Temple of Thoth in the city of Khmunu, Hermopolis Magna, located in Upper Egypt. This temple served as the primary center of Thoth's cult and attracted pilgrims from across the kingdom who sought his guidance and blessings. In addition to formal temple worship, Thoth was venerated in private households, where individuals would offer prayers, sacrifices, and devotional offerings in his honor. These personal acts of piety reflected the widespread reverence for Thoth as a benevolent deity and a source of divine wisdom, Thoth in mythology and literature. Thoth is a prominent figure in Egyptian mythology, appearing in a wide range of religious texts, hymns, and funerary literature. One of the most famous myths involving Thoth is the contendings of Horus and Set, which recounts the struggle between the two rival deities for kingship of Egypt. In this myth, Thoth plays a crucial role as a mediator and arbitrator, ultimately facilitating the resolution of the conflict and the ascension of Horus to the throne. Thoth also features prominently in the myth of the destruction of mankind, which describes the creation of humanity and its subsequent rebellion against the gods. In this myth, Thoth acts as a messenger of the sun god Ra, conveying his divine wrath upon humanity for their transgressions. Thoth in mythology and literature. Thoth is a prominent figure in Egyptian mythology, appearing in a wide range of religious texts, hymns, and funerary literature. One of the most famous myths involving Thoth is the contendings of Horus and Set, which recounts the struggle between the two rival deities for kingship of Egypt. In this myth, Thoth plays a crucial role as a mediator and arbitrator, ultimately facilitating the resolution of the conflict and the ascension of Horus to the throne. Thoth also features prominently in the myth of the destruction of mankind, which describes the creation of humanity and its subsequent rebellion against the gods. In this myth, Thoth acts as a messenger of the sun god Ra, conveying his divine wrath upon humanity for their transgressions. However, Thoth ultimately intervenes to save humanity from total destruction, demonstrating his compassion and benevolence towards mortals. Legacy and Influence Thoth's influence extends far beyond the boundaries of ancient Egypt, permeating various cultures and civilizations throughout history. His association with wisdom, writing, and magic resonates with people across different time periods and geographic regions inspiring reverence and fascination for millennia. In ancient Greece, Thoth was equated with Hermes, the messenger god and patron of travelers, merchants, and thieves. This syncretism reflected the cultural exchange between Egypt and Greece during the Hellenistic period, as well as the perceived similarities between the two deities' attributes and functions. In the modern world, Thoth continues to capture the imagination of artists, writers, and scholars who are drawn to his enigmatic persona and multifaceted symbolism. His depiction in popular culture, literature, and art reflects ongoing interest in ancient Egyptian mythology and its enduring relevance to contemporary society. In conclusion, Thoth occupies a central position in the pantheon of ancient Egyptian deities, embodying a rich tapestry of attributes, roles, and symbolism. As the god of wisdom, writing, and magic, he served as a beacon of enlightenment and guidance for both gods and mortals alike. Through his invention of writing, his role as a judge and arbiter of truth, and his associations with the moon and magic, Thoth left an indelible mark on Egyptian religion, culture, and civilization. Across millennia, Thoth's legacy has endured, inspiring awe and fascination among generations of believers, scholars, and enthusiasts. His enduring presence in art, literature, and popular culture attests to the timeless appeal of his wisdom, his mysteries, 
and his enduring relevance to the human experience. Thoth remains a symbol of intellectual curiosity, spiritual insight, and the eternal quest for knowledge and understanding.